Welcome guys, uh, today we're going to be using a 2015 535i F10 to do uh, coding on it. We're going to be using Beamer Code, uh, the app on our smartphone, um, and then essentially we're going to be using an iCar Play uh, Wi-Fi OBD adapter to do the coding with. So let's get ahead started, uh, let's get in the car and I'll show you guys where to plug in then and go from there. So underneath the car on the driver hand side, uh, by the dead, uh, footrest, you'll see uh, right here is your OBD adapter. You're going to plug it in here. Um, and as soon as, as soon as you plug, the lights will come on and you know it's been plugged in. Okay, guys. So what we have done is we have started the car. Um, the OBD sensor is plugged in on the driver hand side. We have launched the app, essentially. Um, app is right here, but before you do that, we have to connect to it. So depending on your phone, whether it's Google, uh, Android phones, um, Apple phone, get into your Wi-Fi settings, um, turn the Wi-Fi adapter on. Um, once you turn it on, you will notice there should be a V-Link adapter that says connecting, since I've used this before. Uh, it's connecting right now. It has connected, so we know there's connection. And if you look on the top bar for your Wi-Fi, you'll see a Wi-Fi signal and then you'll see like an explanation point, which is perfectly fine. That just tells us that Beamer, the VGate, has been connected to the phone. So launch your app. Once you launch your app, uh, you want to hit connect. Um, you'll be prompted with this. This is the latest update on the Beamer Code app. Uh, you'll notice this is BMW 5 Series and M5. So what we're going to be using is the F10 coding since this is a 2015 535i click OK and then there's a warning message but that's okay hit connect um, and essentially it's going to connect to your ECU and your iDrive via the vGate so now the app has loaded um, it's okay if it takes anywhere between 30 to 60 seconds to get into this is just basically connecting to your car settings every single BMW comes with different options and so forth um, so a couple things I will be showing first um, in here is the head unit and the instrument cluster. Um, so let's get into the head unit. You will notice that it's going to take about a few seconds to go through or 30, 40 seconds to go through. So this is inside the head unit. Um, and if you notice, there are a bunch of different options that you can do. All these options will depend on the car um, and options the car came with as well. Um, so what I want to show you today is on this is ringtone first of all. Uh, there's um, BMW i ringtone, BMW ringtone, and smartphone ringtone. Uh, so we're going to click on smartphone ringtone. Uh, for the essence of this video, I'm not going to code one by one, but I highly recommend to do one by one coding to make sure you don't run into errors and also make sure your car is running or on a battery tender charger. Do not leave it, leave it on accessory mode. Um, so we have done the ringtone. Uh, if you scroll down, we're going to see startup animation. If you notice, right now it's set to connected drive. We're going to change it to M. Click OK. And then we'll do one more before I code the changes. And I will want to display um, temperature settings. So if you notice on the iDrive right now, um, if I go in vehicle status, there's no uh, temperature right now, just simple PSI. So what I'm quoting right now is actually to show um, the temperature and the pressure. I'm going to click OK. And then up on top, you, you can see it says code. Click on code. Um, you'll get this important note message. You can read through it, but essentially start coding. So while it's coding, you'll notice the progress bar if your iDrive reboots. Um, that is perfectly okay. Do not panic. It's just writing those changes to your iDrive. And if it's done right, and um, we should see um, the M animation come up on the screen once this is done. Uh, there might be chances that you get some errors on your instrument cluster. Um, don't worry about those for now. Um, just ensure the coding is done we can clear the errors later and then also sometimes if you have like brake failure ECU failure um, what you can do is um, just turn off the car lock it and then unlock the car okay. 
So since we were in, I was in the car and everything, it did not show the M splash screen or the M animation screen, but you can see the changes have taken effect as we see the Fahrenheit and the PSI for tire pressures. Um, another thing I wanna show is some of the BMW options will show you um, heads up turn, uh, turn signals on your head up, heads up display if you have the driver assistance package. So we're gonna code it and see if that works actually. So click on active. Um, there's two places you have to code. This is, it says two of two. So you see that I've made that active. I'm gonna code it here, uh, let it finish coding. And then once this is done, I'll show you the other place, which is the instrument cluster. So the other place is the instrument cluster. So we're gonna load this module. This module does take some time, um, 10, 15 seconds. So this is loading the instrument cluster. You can see it went from zero, it's gonna to go to 100%, and then it's gonna show us the options in here. Uh, there are a bunch of other options in here if you wanna display, like for example, digital speed in your board computer, which is essentially where the miles and uh, miles per gallon show up. And then depending on if you have heads up display, you might have like music list, phone book, telephone list, all those options already activated. Uh, if not, you can activate those from here too. But then you can also, um, there's a heads up turn display indicator one of two. So you want to click on active and then click OK. <clears throat> Once you do that, click on code and it will start coding. Um, and let it code. Uh, you might see some... Um, warning messages um, or your gauges go down to zero but that's okay um, there's nothing to worry about um, once it's done we're gonna reset it and then we can start the car back on again uh, so like for example it's showing like that just click OK um, that's perfectly fine and then we can go from there um, also, there are multiple different options. Um, we can go in here and we can go into, um, there's park distance control, power tailgate module. I can, you can pretty much open your, use your key fob essentially to open the trunk and hold it down. You can do power folding on the mirrors. Um, you can do remote open and close on the windows um, and such. And then also, um, you can go into, I believe it's a front electric car module, and then there are other settings that we can um, play with and modify depending on your needs on the in the car, actually. So underneath the head unit, there are all mu multiple different options. Uh, something that I've done already in here is video in motion, video via USB. So if you wanted to, you can actually play video um, on the screen, it'll go into, depending on if you have split screen or not, it can go all the way up to full screen. I highly do not recommend using video while driving, just not safe. Uh, but if you wanna do it, those features are available. I know there are a lot of online places where you can order coding and they charge you. Yes, so I'm using essentially an Android uh, version of the app, which is about $34.99, so about $35. Um, and the VGate costs around anywhere from 20 to $25, depending on Wi-Fi or uh, Bluetooth adapters. Uh, if you have the Apple, um, that costs around 26 for um, the app and then the Beamer link app to clear the codes and stuff costs around another $26. So essentially what I have done is I opened up a Beamer code app on the iPhone. I don't have the app bot here. So this is what it would look like essentially the same as it looks um, on Android phone. Obviously we can do demo, but that doesn't make sense. But the only difference is in Android, you'll notice it says there's a full version already, but here you buy the Beamer code. And then if you scroll down in your app store, um, um, there's a uh, same uh, person who made the, de the developer who made the Beamer code app, you would need a Beamer link for BMW and Mini as well and it's $26.99. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna buy this app along with it. So, and then if you head over to Google, the search engine, um, the magic box, um, essentially um, there's a Beamer code, um, the website that developer made, and then also has like home, you can go through and see what it is, iOS or Google, adapters, cars, and there are a bunch of frequently asked questions and stuff. 
Um, so you can go through all that if you need to, but if you go in adapters, and then there's adapters for iOS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth enabled, Android, and so forth. And if you click on it, it will take you to Amazon link, which I'll link in the video down below. But essentially, it's $20 you can buy it. So depending on if you have a Google version or Apple version, you're anywhere looking between $55 and $75. And you can code it as many times as you want. There's no limits for this. If you do take the car into the service, uh, you will notice that... Um, they will re if they reset your iDrive for any reasons, you would have to do this again. So if you buy the app yourself, uh, you don't have to worry about paying someone to do any of the codings for you. Um, and if you look up in the heads dis heads up display, you will notice that the turn signals are activated and working. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are other uh, op coding options we can do, um, but for the time essence, keeping it to four or five different things and from there. Thanks, guys. Um, if you have any questions, comments, put in the comment section down below, and thank you.